Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk to you about car insurance prices because I've noticed a massive trend, especially in customers of mine, uh, that prices are just going through the roof. Hey Ryan. Hey Billy. Ridiculous. I don't know why we've suddenly had a bit of a spate of people coming in and saying that they're uh, renewal price was super high or the price to change from one car to the other was astronomically higher. But I guess it turns out it's a general trend that car insurance prices are going through the roof. Uh, apparently they went up by about 25% in 2023 according to this which article. It says a series of record car insurance rises meant premiums were almost £100 more expensive than last year in 2022, an increase of 25%. Now, it doesn't sound a lot, £100 more in a year, but that's a 25% if your insurance price was £400, which a lot of people are probably paying a lot more than that anyway, especially if you're a younger driver or maybe an older driver or someone who's got a bit of, you know, history with speeding fines, etc. you're paying a lot more than that. So 25% you know, on a £1,000 insurance bill is going to be £1,250 the next year. And it seems like it's just carried on going up and up. It goes on the article to ask, why is the cost of insurance so high? It says the rate of CPI inflation may have dropped dramatically from its peak of 11.1% in October 22 to 4% last December, but the ABI claims soaring repair costs continue to be the main driver behind premium rises. Figures show that the cost of repairs jumped 32% in the third quarter of 2023. Other cost pressures reported by insurers during the same period included longer repair times. This drove up the cost providing replacement vehicles by 47%. The cost to replace written off vehicles has also increased as the average price of new cars has risen 43% over five years. So combination of many things going on, I suppose. Um, parts are more expensive is what they're saying. The labor is more expensive. Prices are Everything is going up. We are in the cost of living crisis. Uh, parts, we all know there's things going on with like Jaguar Land Rover, for example, and they're not the only one, but you know, they're the flagship kind of scapegoat in this whole thing uh, of massive waiting times for parts that are going on that are stretching into you know over a year and hence as driving even more theft of their vehicles so that there is a part supply from those cars that are getting cannibalized and taken to pieces and sold off as parts. And I guess on top of that, if you've got an insurance policy that pays a like-for-like like type of car out, if you have an accident or it gets stolen, and if the prices of those cars have gone up, then it's going to be more expensive for the insurers to do it. They're going to charge more premiums to make sure that they are making a profit because that is what they are there to do at the end of the day. I found an article from the Financial Times that says average UK car insurance quote hits record £995 which, again, to me, I'm a bit out of touch because I use trade insurance, which, don't get me wrong, isn't cheap at all. It costs me about £5,000 a year or something for all the add-on things that we've got. We've got the business insurance, we've got the public liability insurance, employers insurance, uh, goods in transit insurance, all the vehicles, my own personal cars, things like that. It all gets lumped in. So in that sense, it doesn't sound very expensive, although it is still 500 quid a month or something. So what the average quote for a car is, you know, I don't know. But for an average car for a, a driver with decent amount of no claims, then 995 quid does seem quite expensive. Uh, so this is for the final quarter of 2023 last year. Motorists were quoted an average of £995 for annual policies in the final quarter of 2023, an increase of 58% on the year before. Confused.com, on whose platform the index quotes is based, said it was a bleak time for drivers and their car insurance. And it certainly seems like it. I mean, this I know people are complaining about Range Rover prices of insurance and uh, electric vehicles are very expensive to insure as well, especially if you're in cities where car theft is high. I didn't realise it was quite so widespread because we're having older customers come in who've perhaps upgraded their Honda Jazz. And when they come in to actually collect the car and we do the handover, they're like, I can't believe how much I had to pay for the insurance. It was a ridiculous price. I'm having to pay £1,500 or something, uh, which just unheard of for you know someone in their later life to be paying so much money for such a low risk car it just seems absolutely bizarre i think what has been happening in a lot of these instances is that the customers are taking their current policy phoning up and saying i want to transfer over to a new car and they're getting quoted a ridiculous price or they're just getting their renewal come through 
and they might come in and have a service done and they'll say, God, my renewal's gone through the roof. Isn't the insurance prices so expensive? I think they're sticking with the same insurer. So in all of those instances, we've said shop around, use the comparison sites and see what prices you can get because whoever you are with uh, never offers you the best price again on renewal. That's my opinion. I don't understand why people stick with the same insurer for year on year. They get their renewal price, and if it's only gone up marginally, it very rarely ever seems to go down. Does it ever go down, even with no claims bonus? I haven't really heard anyone say that in a very long time, years. Uh, that They're not the ones to stick with. You need to shop around every year. If you're not shopping around every year, you are getting mugged off. Basically, the insurance companies will just send you out a renewal price and they'll mark it up by their market value decision, how much percentage it will go up. And that might be a lot more than someone else would offer the insurance to you for if you just shop around. So that's what we've done in all those instances. We've told them to go away. Just make sure you're doing a shop around and they get the, you know, the quote for half the price, if not less. It's still a lot more than they're paying the previous year, but they're not getting absolutely screwed over by just an automatic renewal. Everything I've read seems to say that young people are affected the most, and they probably are percentage-wise, but as I say, it seems to be affecting everyone of all ages. They, everyone seems to be getting hit pretty hard with an increase in premiums, which actually makes me kind of dread. April is when my trade insurance is due for renewal, and I'm terrified to find out how much that has gone up, because if that's gone up 50%, I'm looking at another £2,500 for the year which is going to be a bitter pill to swallow, to be honest. There's actually a table here, though, on quotezone.co.uk, and it's showing uh, average UK premium by age group analysis. This is quarter one, two, and three of 2023. So if you look at quarter three, 2023, uh, your average price for an 18 to 24-year-old is £1,260.49, 25 to 34, £886.44, 35 to 44, which is the bracket I would fall into, is £711.65. 45 to 64, £502.30. And then 65 and over, £450.40, which is interesting because I found that seems that prices tend to go up after about 65. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a slightly older, but I know we've had, let's say, much older customers come in to buy a car, replace theirs, and they pay an absolutely huge premium because of their age being older. I guess they're considered a higher risk. Um, but it seems like it's not the case here. Maybe it's 70, because at 70 you have to take a mandatory eye test, don't you, I believe? It has got a prediction in here. How much will car insurance increase in 2024? Many financial and consultancy reports suggest UK car insurance premiums will experience an increase between 10% to 12.6% in 2024. This, of course, assuming that the current factors impacting the increase in car insurance remain constant. It is important to remember that changing circumstances and further economic disruptions could mean that this figure may end up being higher. This is where I wonder that other than this kind of cost of living crisis we're going into is going to be one thing that is going to make life harder for car dealers. Maybe, you know, the hardest factor that car dealers like myself are going to have to deal with because, of course, there is the cost of living crisis. People are having to tighten up their belt and not spend as much. So maybe they're not spending out on, you know, more luxury cars. You could tailor your business to suit that and sell more budget end vehicles to suit that demand under £10,000 or whatever. That's kind of what we like. That's a sweet spot for us, five to £10,000. I think that works well. Interest rates have been higher, but I think they are going to come down. That's the general idea. That's not going to be as much of an issue, I don't think. If people are wanting to borrow money, it's probably going to become a bit cheaper going through 2024. But if their insurance is going to be astronomically higher, most people are going to have to swallow a cost of some sort because they're going to keep motoring regardless. They're going to have to stay on the road. People depend on their cars, but maybe it's going to make a massive factor when it comes to insurance groups, the type of car they buy, the value of the car they buy. How is that going to affect it? I honestly don't know. This is not the sort of thing I would normally buy into, but I couldn't shake out of my head how many times I've heard out the door of my office, customers coming in and saying, I can't believe how much my insurance is. I can't believe how much it is to, in to uh, insure this car. You know, a Fiat 500 or, a, as I say, a Honda Jazz. They just can't believe why they're getting these quotes of £1,500, £2,000 for middle-aged people with a clean driving record. Um, it is worrying, but I guess the good news is it, it can't possibly continue 
to increase at this rate. And I think there may be talks, I think uh, people are calling on the government to maybe soften up some taxes on insurance because otherwise we're going to be in a real spot of bother, I think. Anyway, that was just my hot take on it. Um, I haven't really done a huge amount of research on this. I just tried to find a few articles to kind of give me some basis about what I'm talking about. Um, just from our own experience of being a used car dealer, how much we've heard, it's almost a buzzword, insurance premium going up. Um, but let me know, have you had your insurance renewal? How much has it gone up by? Have you been surprised that it's not as bad as you thought? Are you shocked at how bad it is? Let me know in the comments. As I say, I'm out of the loop. I don't do insurance quotes. I only do it once a year when I have to insure everything. So I'm only hearing it from my customers or you guys as the viewers. So let me know in the comments below what you think's happening, what prices have you got, and whether you think it's getting better or worse. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that I'm raffling off my five liter V8 Mercedes SL500 for just two pounds. Now, I know it's not gonna be the most easy thing in the world to insure after a video we've talked about insurance premiums going up, but if you win it for only two pounds, I think, you know, you can probably swing it one way or another. It'll probably come under classic car insurance these days as well. So you never know. You might get it a bit cheaper. But either way, you've got to be in it to win it. So make sure you check out the link in the description. Get yourself a raffle ticket for £2 there. Bundled deals if you want to buy 10 or more. You get a few extra thrown in. Um, yeah, get involved. I'm looking forward to drawing that raffle. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.